Yeah, they're pretty much ranked randomly, so it doesn't, like, don't be like, oh, well, I reckon this final should be in this spot. I've just ranked them randomly. I actually enjoyed watching all of these finals, to be honest with you, but, yeah, I'll put them in a list, and we're going to start off with number 10. The number 10 final I have chosen was the Geelong versus Fremantle qualifying final at what is now called GMHBA Stadium, or used to be called Simmons or Skilled Stadium. Um, this final was unique because I've never, it's the first time I've seen a final being played at uh, GMHBA Stadium, and I remember watching it um, at a family gathering in Bendigo. Um, and, you know, Geelong were clear favourites to win. They were pretty clear favourites to win at home against the Dockers. And I think it was just remarkable to see the Dockers put up the fight that they did at GMHBA away from home. And um, it was a year that you really thought, wow, okay, the, the, Dockers are, the Dockers are really, really playing for it this year, aren't they? Um, and that Stephen Hill moment when he came off the bench at the perfect time, got the ball, ran in towards his forward 50 and kicked the goal. That was just one of the best moments from that final series. The next game I've put on at number nine is Richmond versus North Melbourne at the MCG in an elimination final. I actually went to this game and it was just an amazing atmosphere. There was a shit ton of Richmond supporters at the MCG roaring. Um, there was minimal North supporters, but w what they had there, um, they made a lot of noise, the North supporters, and it was great to see. Um, I was in the North section because my brother, sister and all that go for North Melbourne. And I'd, I hadn't been to a final for a while. I think the last final I'd went to was Collingwood versus Port Adelaide, that elimination final. So this is the first final I went to in a while. And um, as much as the crowd was good, the game was very good. Um, the intensity was great. Um, there was a bit of feistiness in the game, especially that moment where Lindsay Thomas kicked um, someone in the face. I forgot who he kicked in the face, but he kicked one of the Richmond players in the face. Um, and yeah, it got heated from there on. Jared Waite took that mark and, you know, it sort of gave you memories of what he did to Richmond when he played for Carlton. And yeah, so it was just a big game. No one really thought North would, was going to win. They all thought Richmond, win, Richmond were going to you know, be able to do it this time around, be able to win an elimination final. Um, but yeah, they, they didn't, and North caused a huge upset and moved on to the semi-final. The next final I have, it's a pretty underrated final, but it's the Western Bulldogs versus the Adelaide Crows and an elimination final at the MCG. Um, this final was a great watch. It was a great watch. I think it was the Bulldogs' first final in a while. Um, and, you know, a lot of people had the Bulldogs to win this game. No one really thought Adelaide were going to, you know, had a big chance. Um, it, was a, it was a tense game. It was a very tense game. I remember the Dogs got off to a f good start. Then the Crows responded. Then the Dogs went away again. It was a, flow, it was a you know, sort of a heave-ho match. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it was just incredible to watch. It was such a high-scoring game as well. And the final moments... Um, where the Crows run it down from the Dogs forward 50 down to the wing and then into their own forward 50 and then that kick, I think it was from Tex to find Charlie Cameron at the end and that sewed up the game. Cameron went back, slotted it. It was a great game of football. It was a high scoring, entertaining game of football. And you know, it just makes sense that both teams really, really just didn't want to lose because it was an elimination final, obviously, and they really were just pushing out each, each stoppage and all that. They were really just, no team on that night was just showing signs of we wanted to lose. Port Adelaide versus West Coast is next on my list. Um, at the Adelaide Oval, this was the elimination final. Um, this is one of the first finals that I've seen go into extra time ever. Um, and it was just insane. It was insane. It was just a 
a match of pure grunt this one it wasn't a high scoring one the final score i believe was 76 to 78 and everyone just remembers that moment at the end luke shuey getting the high con the high tackle free kick it came with a lot of controversy the ducking controversy that came afterwards there was a lot to take in after that moment but yeah, when Luke Shuey went back and slotted that goal for the West Coast Eagles to move on, it was an unreal moment. The power looked very hot. The power looked very hot to win that game, but the, the Eagles, they just didn't say die. They didn't say die in those final moments. They got themselves into a chance to win the game, and then Luke Shuey got the free kick, went back, and put the Eagles through to a semi-final. So that was an unbelievable game of football, that one. The next one is another really, really close good underdog story it is the brisbane versus gws semi-final at the gabba back last year um this game was unreal you could feel the intensity from the word go um and as the match went on you could feel the hate grow from both teams charlie cameron getting um had an injury in the first quarter i believe it was and then the giants were playing on that injury they were trying to make him more injured and more like so he couldn't move the umpire i believe won um in one instance called for a giants player to stop and they gave the giants player a warning um which was which was crazy to see in a final because it rarely happens but it happened then um, and yes, this was the Lions chance to not get out in straight sets and they were looking good There were three points ahead. They looked like they were going to control it for the final minutes and then Himmelberg on the wing kicked it down to the Giants forward 50 there was a race on Daniels gets the ball first he wins the ball first and uh, He went on ran in and kicked a snap girl put the Giants three points ahead and that was enough to get the Giants through to a preliminary final but that game the roughness the grunt of that game just the pure battle of that game was a great watch for all viewers the next game is a game that I was at it was the Hawthorne versus Collingwood 2011 preliminary final this is one of the first finals I've ever been two i believe no i went to the i think i'm pretty sure i went to the west coast versus collingwood final um that year as well but yeah this preliminary final was absolutely insane i thought we had this game in the bag going into it but this is the beauty about finals you can never know what's going to happen um yeah so the hawks they battled and battled and the pies they had to answer had to answer a few times um the the moments at the end were insane cloak took that mark put collingwood in front then at the other end um buddy F franklin from the boundary kicks that goals and um sort of runs it to the collingwood supporters at that end and then in the end luke ball the unlikely hero luke ball snaps around the body and it bounces through cloak shepherds on the line it bounces through and gives collingwood the lead and the win it was an unbelievable contest a three-point win it was a battle of the titans that night you could just feel it if you're at the game the atmosphere was so tense um and you just thought anything could happen at any moment and it did and yeah the next game also involves hawthorne it was the hawthorne versus port adelaide preliminary final at the g now this game everyone thought Hawthorne were going to win and they were looking likely to do so in the final and I believe in the fourth quarter they had a big big lead and then everything just sort of stopped for the Hawks and you get the the power kicked one and you're like okay and then they kicked another and like all right and then they kicked another one and you could just you could just sort of feel the uh, the screws turning you know the momentum just shifting a little bit and then um i believe one of the power players kicked a goal and the margin was only a goal the difference and you're like surely not surely the power couldn't do it and i believe angus montfries or wingard took a mark in the pocket had a shot and it missed and it missed and um 
the Hawks were just able to hold on from there. But yeah, I'm putting this in the list because everyone thought the Hawks were going to win, but then the power started grinding and grinding back. And it was that sort of season for the power. You know, they could do anything. They were unreal that season, I believe. Um, and yeah, so when they were challenging the Hawks in the final quarter, you could sort of start to think, wow, they could actually pull this off. They're that sort of team this year. But the Hawks are able to hold on with their experience and get over the line. The third one on my list is the St Kilda versus Collingwood draw at the MCG, the drawn grand final. Now obviously this had to be on the list, this was one of the most insane grand finals. Collingwood had a 24 point lead at half time, um, but you know all Collingwood fans knew it just wasn't over, it was not over at that moment and the Saints came back at three quarter time, kept Collingwood goalless and you could just feel the momentum switching in the grand final to St Kilda's favour and in the last quarter it was a 50-50 contest. The Goddard mark, that was one of the highlights of that final series. He took the mark and he put the Saints in front for the first time that day. And that was in the final quarter. And Collingwood fans could just feel, you know, they could all, they just had the writing on the wall. Like, are we about to choke another grand final? Surely not again. Are we about to lose a grand final? to St Kilda and give them their second grand final win. Cloak kicked a goal and put Collingwood back in front. You're like, come on, surely that's it. But then the bounce at the back, it was Johnson versus Milne. And everyone thought if Milne gets it, he's away. So the ball goes to the back. Milne beats Johnson. It was just him. But then the ball bounces at right angles and goes through from behind. And the final score was 68 to 68 on that day. An unbelievable final and an unbelievable scenario for a grand final. The next one was the West Coast versus Collingwood grand final. And it was hard to put this on as a pie supporter, but you know, everyone knows that this was one of the great grand finals to watch. Um, Collingwood flew out the blocks early, five goals early, and then the West Coast Eagles got two back in that quarter um, and the margin I'm pretty sure it was like 31 to 14 at quarter time but then you could just feel like the Eagles were turning back into the game it was a close margin at um, half time and then at three quarter time it's a really really tight game because scores were level at three quarter time you couldn't split them and you, as a Collingwood fan I hated this because it just was going back my mind was going back to the qualifying final when we thought we had the game and then the Eagles kicked about two or three in the final quarter to win the game and it was just it was sort of a remake of the qualifying final Dugowie kicks the goal out of the center puts Collingwood um, in front and then they get and then we got another goal because of my check and you're thinking okay we're off to the hot start can we keep it ticking over and then the Eagles, they get one back and you're like, oh Jesus, these final minutes are going to be agonizing, absolutely agonizing. And then the play, McGovern marks it, kicks it long, Ryan marks it. And then, was it Ryan? Oh, it's, well, one of them marked it and then they kicked it and Domsheed marks, goes back from a very tight angle on the MCG and kicks the goal that gave the Eagles the grand final, the win. So it was a hard one to watch that one, but it was a great grand final nevertheless. The final game, the final of my choices was the GWS versus the Western Bulldogs preliminary final at Giant Stadium. Um, yeah, this was a ripper final. It was an absolute ripper. It was the first time the Giants um, I believe it was yeah the first time the Giants had made a final series and they they uh, beat Sydney in a qualifying final to host this preliminary final against the Dogs and it was a great battle so battle versus of the newcomers versus a team that was desperately looking to get back into grand final contention I mean to the grand final sorry and um, yeah so it was just a absolute battle every time the dogs got one the Giants would get one back and it was just 
there was just so much momentum changes throughout the game it was absolutely insane it was the grunt it was the will i remember that goal where the dogs were just battling to push it forward then caleb daniel kicked that one around the corner and it gave the gave the dogs a, the lead it was an absolutely insane game eastern wood taking that hanger but yeah, the good thing about it was that the Giants weren't going to lay down and just let the Dogs walk into the Grand Final. They put up a challenge of themselves. They really wanted to be in the granny. But, you know, that's what made this victory all, all but more sweet for the Dogs. The fact that the Giants really, really pushed it to the final bit. And then the Dogs got that goal at the end, or that point at the end, sorry, to give them the six-point win of the GWS Giants and move them into a grand final. So yeah guys, that is my top 10 finals matches that I've watched. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys for the live stream tomorrow.